So in front here is the uh, Little Leaf Linden. Yeah. Um, that's double potted, so this is an air basket. Okay, so the uh, the double pot is supposed to uh, constrict the roots, so as they grow through the, the pot, it has a certain mesh size, the root will grow out and then uh, tourniquet itself. Yeah. Uh, so that's supposed to produce a finer root mass in within the basket itself. I see. Um, and produce a lot of ramification on the roots. So in the spring, I'll, I'll pull it out and, and, and check on that process and, and see how it goes. Uh, you can see it's it's quite thick, so this was a you know, a pinky pencil sized uh, seedling or, or sapling uh, a year uh, or two ago. So yeah, it's very vigorous, really well, isn't it? Yeah, I've already pruned it one time uh, this summer, but largely just letting it grow to to thicken up. Uh, and the leaves will reduce really small. Oh, yes. I know on them. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's they get even smaller than that. Mm -hmm. I've seen really tiny yeah. ones on some bonsai. So it has good, great fall colors to it and uh, a fun tree, the, the lindens. I love, yeah. love your linden, Nigel. It's a really great. And when they flower, they smell beautiful. Yeah. yeah but I sure. found I got to take them all off because <laughs> after it flowers, because all the energy goes into the berries. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, enjoy the flowers and then strip them all off. <laughs> yeah, for a short time. Um, Back here is the uh, here's the paper bark maple. Right, right. Um, oh so you can see goodness. the great red flaky bark. Yeah. Um, up up here, you can see Nigel is actually flaking. Oh yeah. Right in there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So a lot of people don't like this uh, maple tree because it's uh, it's got the three leaf. Uh, yeah. Um, I forget the terminology for that. Uh, so it's actually three individual leaves. Yeah. On on one. So there's there's an example of it. I think it's kind of cool. But yeah, and when they get small, like here's a good example. This looks like one leaf. Yeah, you don't notice. Even though it's three lobes, do you? Yeah. So I, I've kind of been playing around with this. Um, Strange reason not to like a tree, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a cool feature. Uh huh. And you can see the they do reduce quite a bit mm -hmm. uh, too. That's a that's a convincing small leaf, I, yes. I think. Yeah. Um, it's like any so, Japanese maple, isn't it? Yeah. So big. Big fat chunky base on this. Yeah. Um, I made uh, a couple big prunes, so I have my my primary branch right here set. Uh, the leader right here is growing nicely with some bifurcation. So just letting it grow this this season, and uh, next spring I'll cut it back and and maybe put it into a smaller pot. Cool. Um, lots of deciduous down here. Yeah. Um, up front is an uh, an arctic willow. Oh yeah. That for whatever reason isn't uh, doing too well. <laughs> Needs to grow in the arctic. Yeah, pro probably <laughs> has something to do with it. Too warm here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it it it, it uh, exploded with growth in growth in spring. Yeah. And has slowly, you can see here, it's it's starting to lose a couple branches. Yeah. This one's kicking around. Maybe I have to water it less. Um, move it into more shade. I, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to kind of diagnose these these issues. Maybe that's one for Mirasol Dealy up in Thunder Bay. Yeah, yeah. Something like that, eh? Mm. Is this the same back here? Uh, no, this no. is a, um, a boxwood. Box, right. The Harlundy boxwoods. Yeah. Uh, from Kim's. Right. Um, you're buying that. Yeah, so I, I really like uh, boxwoods, especially these Harlundies. They, um, yeah, look at that. Have eh? a great, um, great flaky or or rigid bark. Textured bark, yeah. yeah. Very it's young. Really nice, isn't it? Yeah, so it's it's grown really well. Um, so I'm gonna keep it as a temperate tree. Uh, I had it inside because mm -hmm. I got it midwinter and, and yeah. Kim's was treating it as a as an indoor tree. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to explore its hardiness. Um, it, it is semi-hardy. Yeah, I've heard they can go below freezing, but not much, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll keep it in my heated uh, uh, grow frame or, or the greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, this is a little uh, cactus. A yeah. cactus that uh, was sunburned, so you can burn <laughs> cactus, okay. actually. Yeah. Um, so it, it was inside and, and came outside, and the UV killed off some of it up here. Uh, but I think it's recovered, and uh, yeah. I'm going to pot it into uh, a pot as an accent plant. That's cool. Very mm. cool. Uh, beside it is uh, one of my favorite ginkgos. Yeah. Uh, a very, very small dwarf mm -hmm. uh, ginkgo here. 
uh, a female, you can tell by the that there's no split okay. in the leaves. So the males have a, a split in the middle. Yeah. Um, by loba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the this males is... wear pants, and the and the and the females have skirts. That's the way to remember it. This is a mono mono lobo. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's got a good a good base, and I've I've kept it quite short. There's uh, a thuja seedling in here, is yeah, it? Yeah, all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really nice, mm -hmm. isn't it? I've seen those in the nurseries. Yeah. So I think it's ready for uh, a nicer pot, um, mm -hmm. a, a smaller pot, that's for sure. It's, uh, the branching is pretty well set. Yeah. And uh, you can see the new growth coming out, the small new growth here. Yeah, it's very small, isn't it? So I did one prune uh, very cool. of it during the season. Behind it is a katsura. Wow. Uh, tree. It's not the Katsura Japanese maple. It's a, just the Katsura. Yeah. Um, it's a great species for bonsai. Regularly, it has a small kind of heart-shaped leaf like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is, I've just been letting grow. Uh, so it's quite wild. You can yeah. see there's some... Um, bigger leaves, but... Yeah, bigger leaves that's been uh, attacked by the bees as well. The yeah. The leaf cutter bees. Yeah, you can see how they cut chunks out of them. But it's a it's a double a double tree planting. One has a really nice base, and uh, uh, the other one right here is working on it. They don't heal well from their cuts. Mm -hmm. um, but this is this is new to me, so I'm just letting this leader grow uh, to transition between the trunk here. Yeah. So eventually that that will be cut off. Curve more, that flush and, and hopefully. Uh, yeah, so I, I really gorgeous fall colors on the Katsura. Yeah. Um, and eventually when it's in ramification, it will have a very small... Nice leaf size small and small everything, size. Yeah. yeah. Great for bonsai. Uh -huh. Beside it is the uh, dwarf, uh, little leaf linden. Okay. Um, so... Here, oh, the other one was a full-size leaf? Or? No, that's a little leaf linden. Okay. But this is a, a cultivar. I, okay, even smaller. Yeah, this is the Comsta minima. Okay. Uh, Tila. Wow, I um, didn't know there was a... Smaller version. Yeah, yeah, like we were saying before, there's always a, a yeah. smaller kind. Smaller one <laughs> People are making out. dwarfs. Yeah. Uh, but you can see, like, just the the tiny... Yeah, internodes yeah, and leaf size. Tons of... This is one of the trees that I have to rub the buds off of because it's... right, eh? Yeah, like, you can see, look here in, in the trunk, all over the trunk. Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. Wow. And uh, it's obviously grafted, which I think here, but I... I'm assuming it's grafted onto linden, mm -hmm. um, but kind of an unsightly root base here. Uh, it has a like a really nice branching structure to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It's really nice. So it may be another one that I explore and maybe uh, take an air layer, make it a, a double trunk, like take the air layer here. Yeah, I think that would look really nice. This could, I don't know, Nigel. What do you think? Like the the root base needs major work, obviously. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to get a nice radial root base from this plane. I would be tempted to do, like, an air layer. Lower. Lower, yeah. fill up the soil like a ground layer, and mm. see if it grows the roots. If not, if it heals over, well, you've got, you not, haven't really lost anything. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, then maybe... The mm. trouble with some of these species is they may not be able to generate a strong enough root system to yeah. support the tree by itself. Mm -hmm. They might need like a wilder rootstock on it. I don't know. Right. So you just, like no one ever tries these things. So yeah, you're yeah. kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no literature on it, that's for sure. No. Yeah, so maybe, maybe next year I'll, I'll take, uh, try to air layer one of these branches. Yeah, or um, try a cutting maybe yeah. and see if the cutting survives and how mm. it grows. But just, just incredible density. Of, yeah, of, I've never uh, seen this before. Like, uh, like I said, it's like this in the uh, Kotohimi maple, which we'll see in a bit, is more buds than <laughs> yeah. You're just always sure worth. picking them. Uh, yeah, like, so they're all over the trunk. You gotta rub them off wow. all the time. I guess that's good if you want to shorten the tree. Yeah. Cool. That's a uh, very interesting. Uh, up front, another hornbeam, so you guys can probably okay. tell I. Uh, I love my hornbeams here. Yeah. Oh, that uh, one's starting to get some nice yeah. stripes on the trunk, isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, so this is the uh, Korean hornbeam. Super healthy. Yeah, second second flush. I've already did a, a round of cuttings. Really? Wow. Those are the cuttings that we saw in the greenhouse. Yeah. Um, so, nice. yeah, tree. you can see the extensions. 
I, uh, I'm gonna leave one because I think I need another branch maybe here or so, like a primary branch. I see. Or this could be maybe the primary branch. Um, this is a good first branch. Yeah. It's a little high. Uh, this back branch, uh, I think I'm just growing to kind of thicken up the trunk. I see. Um, I, I, I really like it. It has some subtle movement. Yeah, it's and character, doesn't it? Yeah. It's starting to look mature, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is half the battle with bonsai. Yeah. Nice. It has an established apex. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm not going to grow it any higher. But if this is the height, then I think my first branch needs to be like here. Or I see. So maybe I'll just continue to grow this one out. Because mm -hmm. it's got to be thicker than this eventually. Yeah. Nice. Lots of growing to do. Yeah. Uh, no pink tag on that one. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, beside it is my honeysuckle. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this is just the, not native, but the invasive mm -hmm. wild type honeysuckle. Um, my wife just bought a native one. Oh, cool. Yeah. So she's going to plant that in her front garden. Yeah. Because the hummingbirds love these uh -huh. in spring. But. Yeah, so I, I had it, uh, I had it flower out this season. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do a late, if you do a late pruning like I just did here, so this is a fresh prune. Yeah. I won't get any flowers next next year. I see. Okay. Because um, you need the older yeah, growth. Yeah. I eh? guess they set on they set on older growth. Yeah. Um, but I I prioritized branches. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to bring the branches closer to this amazing deadwood feature. Yeah. Right in the front here. So you should probably prune these after they flower, then. Yes. And then. Let that growth harden off in the mm -hmm. year, and then you'll get more yeah. flowers in. Yeah, and it was it's a vigorous grower. It was like way up here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you've really before. reduced it, eh? Yeah. Oh, it looks good. I like that height. Uh-huh. You need a little Yoda in there. I you? know, yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> close. I think it's it's growing really strong. And this is, you know, a hard... I haven't preserved this at all. Yeah. Um, it's good hardwood, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. There's a, there's a hole in the bottom here, so water can't... Uh, okay. Um, uh, collect, collect there, yeah. yeah. So yeah that's that's key. If you have any sort of deadwood on the ground, you need uh, water can to pull up on it. Or yeah, it will, uh, keep it dry. Eh? It'll dry out. Nice, nice. Uh, here's another ginkgo. Oh yeah. Uh, so this one, uh, no pink tag as well. Trying to get rid of this. <laughs> uh, it's a bigger one. Yeah. Um, but check out the leaf type. I've never. Oh yeah. And it's not on all of them. It's on a couple of branches. But I've never seen this fingery. I, I saw that at the uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, what's the botanical gardens? Uh, Burlington Botanical oh, okay. Gardens. The Royal Botanical Gardens. Yeah, there's one out front that's like this, mm -hmm. all fringes like that. Wow. And yeah, maybe we'll have to try it. Really cool. Find out what variety it is. Yeah. But definitely interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like serrated leaves, kind of. Yeah. This is a, a bigger, a bigger tree. It's not like this is obviously a dwarf. Yeah. Kinko variety this of, one. of some sort. I'm not sure. This is like uh -huh. the more regular size. Yeah. Leaf. The great trunk on it, uh -huh. isn't it? Like really cracking and get mature bark. Uh -huh. Nice division up there. Yeah, and a, a tree this size you normally don't see with this taper. It's normally uh, yeah, like a landscape. It's thick. Yeah, and then, it's, uh, yeah, it's got a little movement and taper, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Which is really nice. Yeah, very cool. Um, up front is uh, my amur maple forest. Oh yeah. Uh, so it recently did get a hard prune. Yeah. Um, it was growing really strong in the... It's always hard to prune them back to sticks again, yeah, isn't it? And then, yeah. And they grow. And mm. These ones are looking quite brand Yeah, They're yeah. a lot of good branches, aren't they? Uh-huh. So I think I, um, in the spring, I, I'm, I'm going to rotate this grove. Okay. Because you can see this this one right here. Yeah. Looks like it should be the front tree to yeah, me. Yeah, right. It's the thickest. It's the tallest. So you change it around. Yeah, so I, I think I'm just going to try to scoop this yeah. side out and then rotate, rotate it. Look at the small leaves, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Mm hmm Yeah, that's gonna look really good. Yeah. So he's got some branches. And yeah, it's really established itself on the slab here. Uh, the moss is, is well formed yeah. and, and growing. Um, Very cool. Yeah, the bigger trees I, I just pruned back. I, I pruned some of the smaller ones, but mostly the big ones here. Mm hmm And I decided to take it back quite hard. Yeah. Because they were quite high. I gotta do that. Yeah. This yeah. is the uh, Kotohimi maple. Okay. That I was talking about. It's, I remember those. <laughs> uh, quite the vigorous grower. 
uh, like I mentioned, it, it it grows buds as as the uh, the dwarf uh, linden there does. Okay. Um, but you can see here, I I, I did quite a large cut, mm -hmm. and this is actually this is a I've been experimenting with a, a sphagnum moss. Oh yeah. Uh, band aid yeah. or cut paste. Uh, so you can I think it's doing pretty well. It is healing really nicely. Yeah. You can see there's some bugs and organics and stuff in there. I don't know if it's. I'm just trying it out, but uh, yeah. basically I water this every time I water it. Yeah. And uh, it keeps the the wound cool and moist. You can you can feel it there. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. And it's done. This was maybe two years old. This cut paste. Okay. I think that's pretty pretty significant growth. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's really good. It's healing. Yeah. So I'm leaving. This is going to be the new main trunk. Yeah. So I'm waiting for that to be as thick as this, which I could be waiting several years, hmm. and then. Um, not the traditional Japanese maple style, but more of a natural yeah. Jap uh, maple style. It's going to have several, one, two, three, kind of big lower trunks. Yeah, like almost like a clump style sort of. Or? Yeah, yeah, close to that. Um, so it's it's just growing. I'm letting it uh, growing all this out to seal this wound and and thicken up the trunks. Yeah. Um, but this was another example of the, uh, you can see the stretch marks. Uh, the bonsai stretch marks here. Oh yeah. So along the ridges here, yeah. all, the, all the bark is, is is stretching out. So that's from a lot of water and a, and a lot of fertilizer, I think. Just growing rapidly. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. This is another uh, really great species for bonsai. Very tight internodes. Um, Great spring color. It comes out in these reds. Mm -hmm. uh, great fall color. Super small leaf. Very um, small. Takes really well from air layers. So soon there'll be more air layers for okay, uh, cool. people in the area. That's cool. This is the. Uh, we'll, we'll skip over and we'll come back to it. This All is right. the air layer from the the apex of that tree. Wow. Um, so same kind of thing. It had three trunks. Yeah. So this is going to be more of a clump style. And uh, amazing, isn't it? Uh, so I'm just I'm just growing these new leaders from the stumps. So here's a good example of this one is almost thick enough. It's a good transition between the the original stump and the new branch here. Yeah, it's really blending in. Isn't yeah, it? these ones are a little slower. Wow. So just letting it all grow out. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, here we have a uh, a rhododendron. Okay. Uh, a PGEM variety, I believe. Yeah. It has the uh, purple flowers okay uh, in the spring you can see it's already set its flowers for next year I see them yeah so it sets it on old wood okay um, so this got a hard prune so you can see here uh, this I left to grow oh yeah so we got quite a quite a trunk in there yeah you can see it right in there <laughs> uh -huh. hopefully you can see it <laughs> yeah all so, this is a uh, sedum that's uh, gone wild eh? yeah <laughs> I had one uh, one kusumono, I'm like, oh, that's nice, and I put it on a couple plants, and it's just taken over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, It'll do that. Yeah. But everything that got uh, recently pruned here, you can see, is the lighter type. Yeah, it's really come back, and yeah. So uh, a lot of rhododendrons and azaleas are uh, basally dominant, so they they back bud really well, they get suckers really well. Um, all these things. Basically, it's a shrub or a tree. Something that's basally dominant is a shrub. Yes. Something that's apically dominant uh, Comes it a tends tree. to be a tree. Yeah. Uh, so things like this Kotahimum, even though it's a Japanese maple, yeah, which is a tree type, it's actually basally dominant and will tend to be a more of a shrub. I see. You can see here how like there's several little whips opposed to the one. Yeah. So it, it would whip. rather grow as a shrub rather than one tall apex yes. reaching for the light. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's a good kind of classification for your various trees. Yeah. To help you understand their their growth characteristics. It's a shrub or a tree. Eh? Yeah. Um, but what I was talking about is that all of this new growth here yeah. won't, doesn't have any flowers. You can see there's no right, flower buds. There's no buds at all. Because they need the whole summer to kind of set. I see. So this this older portion is the only thing that will flower next year. I see. Which will be nice. And then the next year, if you don't touch this, that'll flower. Yeah, then, eh? yeah. yeah. But I, I probably will touch it because <laughs> uh, I'll be pruning. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way of bone side. Uh -huh. uh, in front here is a dwarf. Uh, crab apple. Oh, okay. It's got a nice trunk to it. Oh yeah. And uh, really small leaves. Yeah. Nice. 
and it's uh, this is an example of something that's apically dominant. Like we saw that with the other apples. Yeah. Uh, it, it, apples really will like grow a straight shoot up. Yeah. Yeah, a straight shoot. They'll go dead straight almost. Okay. Um, so this is a yeah a shohin. A shohin apple. Oh, isn't that nice? That uh, I haven't had ever flower, but we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully someday. Eh? Yeah. So it's it's on its way. It's pretty close. Just another dogwood back here. Uh, this is the American plum. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Americana. Okay. Uh, it has flowered for me several times, and it has beautiful, beautiful white flowers. Okay. Um, it's the plum that gets the dark bark. You can yeah. see it start blackening up. It's nice. Um, so that the white flowers on the dark bark are really, really nice. For it, even when you water it, it goes even darker. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Wow. Uh, behind it, we have a. Uh, another uh, porcelain berry. Okay. This is the non-variegated, but it has a, a really nicer trunk to it. Oh yeah. So it's a bigger clump style. Old, isn't it? Yeah, quite old. That's um, really cool. I pruned it back, um, trying to get some more ramification. So similarly, I pruned this, so there's no berries, there's no flowers. Cool leaf shape, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All different sizes and uh -huh. uh, shapes and. Uh -huh. You wow. kind of get a maple vibe from it, but yeah. uh, a little more serrated. Yeah, they're really interesting, almost like a mulberry or something. Yeah, too. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's beside my birch tree. Oh yeah. Um, and let me pull this out because I put it okay, in. Okay. Yeah. I put it in a wane pot, and I think it's really nice. Oh yeah. That's the rock is there just to stabilize it. Yeah, so it doesn't blow over in the wind. Yeah, but it's wow. got a really. I really like the black pot. I yeah. Think it, I think it matches really well with the white bark. Yeah, and the dark spots on the bark. Yeah, yeah. and you, you can see as the birch gets older, the, the bark actually reverts to regular bark. Yeah, it kind of cracks and uh -huh. uh, gets the dark color, doesn't it? Yeah. That is a nice pot. I really yeah. like that. But you can see the birches are uh, notorious for... Um, putting out these suckers oh yeah on the bottom so you can see I, I have to rub them off rub them off all the all time, the, time. Yeah. the oaks will do that too so they just want to grow as a clump style don't yeah. they yeah yeah they're well they're the uh, the primary trees in the forest like they're, they're their whole job is basically to rot and yeah. provide biomass to the maples <laughs> and yeah. the other trees yeah one of those pioneer trees yeah right? that was the word I was looking pioneer, for pioneer yeah. trees yeah but um this obviously died back, mm -hmm. um, but this whole side is, is still nice and really gorgeous and white. Um, and do you ever get any back buds on the trunk at all? Or? Uh, yeah, so where, Sometimes. there was one. Uh, there's some oh, one, one right here. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one there. Yeah, um, nothing really here. Not where you want them, eh? No. <laughs> uh, it looks fine as a tall tree. Yeah. Oh, look, I got, really I got. Uh, or uh, yeah, the, the uh, seed pods or yeah, whatever they are. There. Yeah, look at that, eh? Uh -huh. So this grew really strong last year. Yeah. And I, I took it back really hard. This year I, I took it back again, uh, but didn't respond with as much vigor as I, see. I thought. I, I put it in a much smaller pot. I see. Um, and you keep it well watered, obviously, yeah, eh? Yeah, it does dry out pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but uh, this is something I could show. I could maybe do another prune. Yeah. Uh, just to get rid of some of the length, and it will look good in, in fall. Yeah, it's got a beautiful trunk and everything on it, doesn't yeah. it? It's just full of interest. Mm -hmm. And some good taper. Like this is a pretty significant base. For, yeah. Yeah. For something this small. Yeah, it is really cool. That is awesome. Yeah. Right? So that's maybe something I will uh, prune up, and, and you guys will see in the very nice the fall show. Yeah. Yeah. And perches are so cool, aren't they? Yeah. They're very unique. So here's another tree. Yeah, I, I think this is our native privet. Okay. Um, I got this from a, a, a fellow Toronto member who's already done most of the work. It's in a great, nice uh, yeah. Japanese pot. Great movement on it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I like these lower lower branches. Yeah. You can see I, I recently pruned it and it... Uh, Just shooting out yeah, again. All, but pretty much only one from each pad kind of thing. Yeah. But it has retained all of its uh, smaller leaves. So this is another showable tree that uh, yeah, it's I could really... prune and, and then we'll hopefully, it gets really nice multicolored uh, fall colors. Oh, cool. Yeah, very nice. Privets uh, are exciting, aren't they? They're... Yeah, old and, and very hardy. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, they make great bonsai, I think. Very cool. Okay, so we'll pull out this big one after, so we won't talk about that okay. right now. Okay, all right. Uh, but yeah, we can put it over Skip there. Skip over that one. Um, here's a little hosta. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, I have, actually, there's a couple little ones here. Little accent plants. Yeah. Nice. So this just finished flowering, and you can see there's some PC pods developing. Oh yeah, yeah. So I may keep those and then and then uh, germinate them and, and give them to. Yeah, you might as well. And stuff. Yeah, everyone's looking for hostas, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they make great. I think it's really cool. It's in this uh, cracked finish yeah. pod. That's really cool, isn't it? Kind of looks like a jug or something. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, beside it is a choke cherry. Okay. A rather old one. Yeah. With some uh, wow. funky kind of uh, feet, I guess. That is really cool. Yeah. I've got a few of those growing too. Yeah. They just pop up. Yeah, exactly. Don't yeah, they? pretty re reliable and tough tree. Yeah. Um, and are, are they native? Do you uh, know, I'm not sure if they're native or naturalized. Yeah. They're definitely hardy. Yeah, I see them in forests all over the yeah. place. They have a really cool flower, like a... a fringy yeah, kind of flower, white, yeah. white sort of a, what would you call that flower shape? There's probably a name for it. Yeah, uh, like a bottle brush flower. Yeah, yeah. Like it's very straight. Yeah. yeah. And multi, mm -hmm. multi flowers on yeah. it or whatever. I'm so not that's a, really fun. I'm not a flower guy. No, neither am <laughs> I. barely know the trees. Um, so here's my uh, other Hokkaido elm. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is the one in... in in a, a pot, uh, so I could easily show this. Again. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, already pruned in the spring. It's it's quite vigorous as well. Triple trunk, trunk yeah. style, and you have shown this before. I have, yeah. That, that yeah. was the accent plant with your juniper. Yeah, yeah. In the in the Toronto, Toronto show. show. So we'll show you the, the juniper there. Um, yeah. It, it went through some big changes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see all the buds here. I have to rub them off all the time as well. Yeah. Otherwise, it becomes a bush. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. really fun. Bonsai's itself, almost. Cool. Great, great species. Uh, the Hokkaido elm. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Arctic willow. Okay. Um, Same as the other one no, there? Different, no, different. Uh, different kind. So I'm, I don't know the exact variety of either, actually. Okay. Uh, but nice triple trunk here. Yeah. Uh, growing really strong. It has a very nice willow flowers. And where do you find these trees, these Arctic willows? Um... So that one was from um, Vineland or a similar nursery. Okay. And this one was a gift from my friend uh, John Crew, uh, John Crook. Okay. From, uh, uh, Masato. Club. Yeah, you gave him some of the uh, the I think the jade cuttings. He gave me some willow cuttings. Oh, okay. I I'm not sure what kind they are. Yeah. But Does they're... it look like this one or no? Uh, they're greener. Okay. I, I don't know. I actually, they might be pussy willows. Okay. But anyway, yeah, they're doing well. They're in uh -huh. water still, but. Yeah. So this is in a. A nice pot here. Uh, it has a pink, a uh, pink flower, which oh, I yeah. think will really nice match oh, this good, blue eh? pot here. Wow, that's cool. Uh, they flower in, in spring. Very cool. Um, in front, this is a, a, a Nippon daisy. Okay. Um, so not a true daisy, but yeah, uh, it grows pretty wild. Um, oh wow, this. <laughs> We we're talking about deadwood separation. Look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there's, it was dead in the middle here. It decided to form its own. Yeah. So it's, healed around. It's attached didn't it? to this root here. That's cool. Um, but it takes really well uh, to hard pruning. I see. And uh, it does flower like a, a daisy. That's yeah. where it gets its name from. It has daisy-like flowers. Yeah. But again, I keep it pruned uh, pretty rigorously, so I don't get many flowers. From right. It. And when would it flower, do you know? Uh, Midsummer, I believe. Midsummer, okay. Yeah. So you'd have to leave it untouched and it would grow really yeah. tall and then it would flower. Exactly, and... exactly. Yeah. And back buds really well. It's another shrub type. Cool. Very cool. Uh, so behind it is a, uh, a mommy paperback maple. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of like a rafty style. Yeah. Um, so I've kept it small. I may up pot it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Beside it is some uh, blood grass, some Japanese blood okay, grass. Yeah. Uh, in front is a little dwarf rose. Oh wow! Which is got a, ever nice, yeah, eh? It's from a root cutting. Wow! So it's got really cool movement. Look at that. Into it. Beautiful pot too. Yeah. 
it wasn't even a smaller pot and I was trying to keep it in that pot as long as possible. Oh yeah. Uh, but eventually I couldn't keep up with it. So no. I had to up pot it. That is really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, so if it does ever flower, I think the red tones. Just needs one flower on it, doesn't uh, it? And it uh, would look perfect. Yeah. That is really cool, That's Connor. Little accent. Um, so this studio was in a uh, a pot last time, and actually, unfortunately, I lost the pot over winter. Okay. Uh, so I had to kind of emergency pot it into uh, these baskets here. Yeah. Um, and it was more of a semi-cascade style, and now I've made it a full cascade. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so more more work to happen on that for There's sure. Dead wood on that, isn't there? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, fun there. So uh, needs pruning, and uh, it needs to be in an actual pot. Yeah. Um, beside it is my Tom's Thumbs Clatoni Aster. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's a nice cascade, semi-cascade style. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> really overgrown right now. I've just <coughs> let it grow all season. Yeah. Um, but eventually, you can see like this will be the apex here. Yeah, and that'll and be then the big. This cascade. will be the big cascade branch. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, really nice. Mm hmm. Uh, and we'll move it away so you can see what's behind it. Yeah. The first is um, okay. You guys are familiar with this. Uh, I've pruned time, this. Right? Yeah. I, a couple, or one of maybe my debut on Nigel's channels here. Yeah. Is uh, what is the pruning this time? Uh, but it, uh, you can see, just grows crazy. Yeah. Um, is that fragrant or? Oh yeah, yeah. You can smell it. That's what I can smell. Wow, mm -hmm. is that ever fragrant? Yeah, and you can see here. So this is interesting. So variegations are, uh, 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 they're like, they grow per per stem. Okay. So you can see how this whole stem here is not variegated. Yes. Um, so if I prune this back here, it's still going to be non-variegated because everything in front of the stem will be the same type. I see. So if I if you prune something that's variegated back, it's always going to be variegated. I see. But if you prune behind the variegation, there's a there's a, a genetic chance that it becomes non-variegated. I see. Um, I I'll, I'll show you that on uh, one of my portrait periaphras, which also has a variegated okay. uh, leaf type. But it's in this kind of um, eggshell yeah, pot. Yeah, that's really nice. Look at the age on that. Isn't yeah. It? I'm not Beautiful. sure uh, Japanese or something's got a stamp there. Yeah. Um, a little bit of calcium and stuff, but this again, I I, I pruned heavily, and uh, this is all so this year's growth. Out. Wow. So kind of unique having a a, a woody yeah a woody kind of stem. It smells so good. Too. Yeah, and we can use it in the in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, that and my rosemary are useful bonsai. Practical bonsai. Yeah. Eh? yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, behind it here. Look at this. Yeah. So I think last time you guys, it was just on the ground in a big uh, nursery container. I think so. Um, and it was a, a, a collected potentilla uh, that I put on uh, another one of those tufa rocks I have. Okay, yeah. Um, and you can see it's flowering. It's, it's, uh, this was recently pruned. Uh, potentillas need a lot of water. Uh, so, right so this is another one that dries up almost instantaneously. I see. Uh, that I have to keep really well watered. Wow, that is uh, quite an arrangement, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I really like the the wrapping yeah. of, of the uh, of the veins. Yeah. It's almost like a, something was um, put together, mm -hmm. like a uh, fusion or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, or it's natural. completely natural. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that something? And I really liked uh, this was my main kind of point of the design was this peak here mm -hmm. matches this peak of the rock. Oh yeah. yeah. So if maybe Nigel if you come down and down. somewhere around there is the front. Yeah. Um, where you can see this this peak and Echoes then it's echoed the shape this of the peak. rock. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Uh -huh. And I may I may add some gins into this, like this may be a gin here. It gives you the feeling you're at the bottom of a waterfall or a cliff yeah. or something looking up mm -hmm. and and it even goes it goes farther than the ground oh, here. Oh yeah wow <laughs> Uh, but this is what I was telling you guys for the my rock here. So this was uh, like just a cement footing yeah. that I poured around this base. And uh, so now it's really stable. Oh, that's cool. And this actually kind of little accent plant is also a potentilla. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so really? potentillas are, are straw strawberries are potentillas. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a wide family. So yeah. this is not a strawberry, but 
some sort of wild those wild uh, pontilla. Yeah, wow. Yeah. They were cool. So eh? kind of fun that it's a uh, square. Yeah, that's cool, Connor. Yeah.